All right. So I'm going to do two videos in one here. Never got a chance to talk about Ronald Darby, so I'll talk about him here. I did talk about him in my PI in 60 video on my Twitter, if you saw that, but I'll expand. Andrew Sandejo signed with the Eagles today, so more safety depth there. So those are going to be the two topics I'm going to discuss in this video. So here we go. Ronald Darby gets $8.5 million. It's a lot of money for some people, but I think it's a very fair price. Cornerbacks are getting overpaid at the moment. And $8.5 million on, on a prove-it deal, I like that for Darby. Here's why. Depth at cornerback is imperative. We saw it last year. I know that Ronald Darby's injury prone. I get that. He's missed half of his games in Philadelphia. But the cornerback position in general is the most injury prone in the NFL. I don't want Josh Hawkins playing in January again. I don't want that shit. I want to get the depth issues fixed. And now the Eagles are six deep at cornerback. Rasul Douglas, Jalen Mills, Avante Maddox, Ronald Darby, Cravon LeBlanc, and Sidney Jones. Six guys. So you got depth, and you also potentially might have versatility. Because I think. The Eagles might start experimenting with some things. Now, they signed Andrew Sandejo today. So maybe he plays the safety role in the big nickel package. Malcolm Jenkins likes to slide down the box, kind of plays that linebacker role, hybrid linebacker type role. And then you're going to have Rodney McLeod in the single high role. So the third safety in the big nickel, maybe that's Sandejo or maybe it's somebody else. Do they move a Rasul Douglas to safety? Do they move a Jalen Mills to safety? Do they move an Avante Maddox to safety? Something we might see during the spring. Eagles experimenting with positional versatility, as Jim Schwartz likes to put it. Uh, so there you kind of have it. Um, I, I also think the Darby signing is important for this reason, because – I know that a lot of people are kind of saying, well, why are you bringing back Darby when Rasul Douglas and Avante Maddox and Cravon LeBlanc were so amazing at the end of the year? Well, if you remember at the end of the year, the defensive line was playing a lot better. And when the defensive line plays like that, it masks weaknesses in your secondary. Because there were times that Avante Maddox got beat and Rasul Douglas got beat. But the quarterback couldn't get the ball out in time because the pressure was there. Eagles had more sacks than any team in the NFL the last month of the season. At least I think, I think that's what the, the stat was, if I remember off the top of my head. But they were getting after the quarterback in the final month. So – Basically what I'm saying is this. It's like, all right, so you got that. And then, and then you're also going to have tape out on these guys for defensive coordinators to look at. Like, I love Avante Maddox. I think he has the potential to be a top 10 cornerback in the league. I think he's that good and that talented and, and has that much potential that you can tap into. But we also saw we, what he became susceptible to at the end of the year. You see, that's the thing. It's like when you thrust some of these cornerbacks in there at the end of the season, weaknesses aren't found yet. And, and the Eagles kind of took advantage of that in a way with their corners. But corners are kind of weird. Like it goes year to year sometimes. And it's, it's like a closer or a relief pitcher in baseball. One year you can have a great year as a corner, and then the, set, the next year you're like, you're shit. You, it, you adjust and you adjust back like a pitcher. And, uh, and, and that's the thing. So as much as I love Avante Maddox and as well as Rasul Douglas played at the end of the year, we don't know if that's going to be replicated or not. So basically we're going to see, we're going to see a, a, a full-out competition for the cornerback positions. I think Darby will win one. Um, Darby is the best cornerback on the roster despite what people think.
He is the best one. I think Avante Maddox has the most potential, but right now Darby is the best one. So those are kind of quick thoughts on the uh, Darby and Sandejo signing. And, and Sandejo, you know, listen, um, at least he can't get run over LeGarrette Blunt in the, uh, in the division. But as long as, as long as the Eagles don't play the Lions uh, anytime soon. And then, and then the fourth and 15, uh, hopefully Andrew Sandejo can stop a couple of those. So that's the big thing uh, with him bringing him in. That picket fence defense and, and being able to stop a goddamn fourth and 15. Yeah. All right. Adrian Fetchew, out of here. Peace.